Now we've looked at the distributive law, let's have a look at a different type of expansion. What if I was trying to expand something like uh, x take 4 and that was going to be multiplied by 3x plus 2. What does that mean? Well, what that means there is everything in this bracket here, everything in this bracket is going to multiply everything of this bracket here. So to do that, I would need to multiply each individual term of this bracket with each individual term of this bracket here. So in essence, there's going to be four multiplications I'm going to do in this particular example. Now, whenever you've got this sort of unique situation where you've got two terms in one bracket multiplied by two terms in the other bracket, we can actually use an acronym to help us make sure that we expand these correctly. And that acronym is FOIL. So let's go through it. Our first letter of our acronym, F, tells us what we need to multiply first. And the F stands for firsts. So what that means over here is we're going to multiply the first term of our first bracket with the first term of our second bracket. So this x here with this 3x here. So when we do that, this will equal x multiplied by 3x, which is 3x squared. So then we move to O, which stands for outers. And what that means is I'm going to take the most outside terms from each other and multiply them together. So the most outside term of this bracket is the x. I'm going to multiply that with the most outside term of this bracket, which is this 2. So this x here is going to multiply with this 2 over here. So x multiplied by positive 2 will be plus 2x. And I move to my next step. And my next step is the i step. And the i stands for innards. And what this step says to us is we're going to multiply the two most inside terms with each other. So the most inside term of this first bracket is this negative 4. And the most inside term of this second bracket is this 3x. So I'm going to multiply negative 4 with positive 3x. Now a negative multiplied by a positive is going to be a negative. 4 times 3 will be 12. So this will be negative 12x. And we now move on to our final step. And our final step is this L, and this L stands for lasts. And what that tells us to do is we're going to multiply the last term of the first bracket, so this negative 4, with the last term of this second bracket, this positive 2. So this will be this negative 4 multiplied by this positive 2. Now negative 4 times positive 2 will be negative 8. Now, from here, I have successfully expanded the brackets, but what we should always do, whether the question asks us to do it or not, is to simplify it as much as we can. So we should be looking for like terms here to see whether we can collect them together and simplify. In this case here, I can see that this plus 2x and this subtract 12x are like terms, so I should collect them together. So plus 2, take 12, will be negative 10. So I have negative 10 of these x's. But I've still got my 3x squared. And I've still got my subtract 8. So when I expand and then simplify this up here, I'll be remaining with 3x squared, take 10x, subtract 8. So when we're expanding brackets, it's really important that what it means to expand brackets is Everything in one bracket has to multiply everything in the other bracket. Now, if we've got a special situation where we've got two terms in each of our brackets, we can use the acronym FOIL to help us go through the steps to expand these brackets. Mm -hmm.